Hey guys, I'm Jed Honey for Photo Factor. Welcome to episode two in this four part series. We're currently on chapter four, getting to know some Photoshop basics and we're really exploring how to adjust your image quality. In the first episode, we showed you how just by adjusting the brightness and contrast, you can already make quite a big difference to your image. In this session, I'm gonna show you how by adjusting the vibrance, the color vibrance, uh, you can tweak just you can add just that little bit more punch Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's dive straight in Right, so we're still working with this really juicy yummy looking burger and before we go ahead and make any Adjustments, we just want to make sure we're working on the right layer So let's head on over here to layers. We can see we only got the one layer sometimes you might have additional layers and so it's just prudent to make sure uh, that you are, have got the correct layer adjusted so that you make the adjustments on the right layer um, and so i'm looking at this pick it doesn't look too bad uh, but i'm noticing the red in the coke tin the coke cola tin doesn't look maybe all that great um, and I want to punch that up a little bit. So the simplest way to do that would be to head on over to image in the top menu bar, scroll on down to adjustments, head on down to vibrance. And this little dialog box will pop up. If it's in your way, just click on the menu bar of the dialog box and move it over to where you're comfortable. And You'll see here, you do have two options here. The one is to adjust the vibrance, the other one is the saturation. I'm gonna show you the saturation slider first. So if I move the slider to the left, notice how uh, it takes color out of the image. If I pump it up to the right, notice how much more intense the color gets. But it starts to look unnatural and I don't know about you, but it starts to hurt my eyes a little bit. Let's just take that value back down to zero. And so that's what we started with. Now, if I adjust the vibrance, if I take the vibrance a bit to the left, same sort of thing happens. Um, again, we're losing some of the punch in color. But if I move this over to the right, notice that the color is saturating more, but it's a lot more subtle. Let's just check out this value here, right? So we've got it roughly at plus 49. Let's just make it exactly plus 50. Right, take note of what the image looks like, right? Now let's take this back down to zero. If we had to punch the saturation up to 50, wow, look at that. Um, I don't know about you, I wouldn't be happy with that. So let's just take that back to zero. So vibrance is a lot more subtle. If we punch that up to, no, no, we had it at 50. That's maybe a bit too much because we can see how the wood is starting to go a little bit maybe too saturated. Let's bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna say round about there is good for me. And again, once you're happy, you can just make use of this little preview option over here. If it's ticked, uh, it's automatically showing you the adjustments you're making. If you switch this off, it takes you back to how the image was before the adjustments. Now, the adjustments I've made is very subtle. And so you may not be able to see the adjustments that easily. If I toggle it on and off, it's very subtle, but this is the point of vibrance. Uh, we're not wanting to make radical color adjustment. We're just trying to make the colors pop ever so slightly. And so once we're happy, we hit OK and we head on over to file. And so that we keep uh, a copy of the original, instead of hitting save, we go to save as and we've already made one hamburger adjustment so i'm going to call this hamburger adjustment one it's good to have all these different variants so once i've i've done the different subtle variations i can then review all the different files and see which of the options i prefer anyway so once i'm happy with that we hit save and and so now we've shown you how you can subtly adjust the, the color of, of an image so that it gives you a little bit more punch. In these last two episodes, we had made the adjustments directly to the layer. Now, a smarter way to do it would be to make use of adjustment layers, which we're going to get into 
in the last episode of the series. But first, we're going to get on to hue and saturation. That's in the next episode. If you've got, got any value out of this video, do give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and head on over to the next episode. We'll see you there.